Hi everybody, sorry there was a couple of technical difficulties trying to get in, welcome. I'm gonna get a few moments for everybody to find that post. And we are going to get started with our HIIT Bootcamp class. So welcome everybody. Um, today we are gonna have um, some difficult uh, combos today, okay? Um, we're gonna have weighted strength combos that we're gonna build and we're gonna have cardio and body weight combos that we're gonna build, okay? So each circuit is gonna be weighted or non-weighted, okay? Using just our own body weight. Um, but some difficult stuff gonna happen, so you can take it at your own pace if there is any uh, combinations that are too much for you, you can revert to just one of the moves if that helps, okay? Or you can, I'll show you some modifications for other things that you can do um, if it's too much as well, okay? You can just work on burpees or things like that. So I will explain that to you as we get to it. What you're gonna wanna have are your dumbbells that you can interchange between. So if you have different sizes, that's great. If you don't, just work with the size that you have. You might also wanna have your mat for a soft surface. Uh, you may not need your mat if you're gonna be staying in the plank position for most of the work that we're gonna be doing. But if you feel that you need your uh, mat to put your knees down for anything, then you'll wanna have that handy just in case, okay? There's gonna be a lot of up and down today with that cardio body weight stuff. But like I said, if it's too much to come up and down, you can um, do it off of your couch, okay? I'll give you those options. You can also just stick with one of those moves instead of doing the combo move, and I'll explain that to you as we go along. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is warm it up, so let's do that first. March it out. Right and left, getting the shoulders down the track, back and engage your center. Let's go eight more narrow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it wide, wide march. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two. March it in. Four, eight. Four, three, two. Let's take it wide. Eight. Four, three, two, march it back in. Four, three, two, let's take it wide. Four, three, two, march it in. Four, three, two, take it wide. Four, three, hold it wide and squat it. Bend the knees and bend the elbows. Push that bottom back, keep those feet flat and open the chest. Down and up. You've got four more and we slow it up. Down to up two. In two more. Down to up for two, take it down, and up, down for two, and up, down, one more time, down, pick up your speed, four, eight, get ready, step back right and left, and reach it overhead, keep that squat right here, for four, three, two, Step it back, right and left. Reach, take it up. Reach, take it up. Reach and step. Simply tap it back for step and bend. Up to you. Keep it here for one more set. Then back to that wide squat as you interlock those fingers behind that head or loosen behind those ears. You've got four more. Three, two, take it wide and interlock here. Sit it down and rise it up. Open up that chest and squeeze that back. Four more, take it up. Three, two, release those hands, wide march for eight. Four, three, two, march it in for eight. Four, three, two, march it out. Four, march it in, four, Take it wide, four, march it in, four, take it wide and hold, hands on those thighs, and hinge forward with your flat back, hold, roll it up halfway, stretch that spine, take that flat back down, and roll it all the way up, allow that head to come up last, and roll those shoulders back. All right, starting with our first exercise combo. First exercise, 
exercise is going to be simply a hinge forward. 30 seconds. The second exercise, a high row. And then we put it together. Hinge, one hinge, one upright row, high pull, okay? Now, you're going to have 30 seconds for the first exercise, 30 for the second, and then one minute and for the combo. And you've got three times that you're going to do that. Lower body, upper body, put it together, okay? So get set with those shoulders down and back. Get ready to hinge forward and come on up in three, two, and go. You're on that clock. Remember, we got three sets of everything today, okay? The strength stuff is not going to be as difficult as our body weight stuff, which is going to incorporate our cardio with our plank work. And when we combo it together, you're going to have to do some burpee work as well, coming up and down from those feet, okay? But you can use your couch if you need to, okay? If you don't want to come all the way down, the couch is a great tool to use that you don't have to go completely all the way to the floor with. Good, hold here, you're right into that high pull, upright row, right here, keeping those weights close to the body, and then you're gonna have one of each coming up for one minute, and it's gonna be three sets of this. Engage that center and breathe. Good, let's get that last one in. And now we've got a full minute, combining those moves together with one of each, hinging forward, and then high pulling up. Keep those legs fairly straight with just a soft knee right here, so you feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs as you hinge forward. So you're gonna have a lot of reps today with three sets. And you've got that combo move for one full minute, three times. And there are no breaks when we are in our circuits. It is from one exercise right to the other, non-stop. And then you move on to your next circuit. Good, get that last one in and go back to hinging. So you've got 30 seconds on the clock right here. Just the hinge. This is your second set of just those hinges down and up. Good, keep that strong grip. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders down and back. You gotta really work through that upper back to keep those arms in position with those shoulders back. Good, get that last one in, and then as you come up, right into that high pull, upright row, right here, keeping those arms nice and close. And then you got that second combo set coming up. One more set of everything to go. So we're breaking those circuits down into upper lower body strength, and then cardio and body weight. This is gonna Hit that core and full body strength as well. Good, let's go. One of each for one minute right here. Good, take your time. You've got an entire minute here. So you've got plenty of time to work through that combo. Good, you got those heavy weights, you're gonna start to feel that grip. You gotta work that grip strength, holding on to those nice heavy dumbbells here for three sets. Good, one more. And right here, right back to those hinges, your final set, 30 seconds here. 30 seconds with that high pull, and one minute, one of each. And then circle one will be behind us. So hang in there, right here. Good, 
Good, finish up that last one. And into that upright row here. You should be feeling that fatigue setting in. Should be difficult by the time you get to that fine, final minute combo. You should be somewhat struggling to finish it out. Okay? If not, go a little bit faster if you've got light weights. Okay, make it a little bit more intense for yourself. Good, getting that last one in. Now we're working on one of each. Hinge forward, rise up, and get that high pull in. Good, you guys are gonna stay right there. Finish out that one minute. I'm gonna come in and say hello. Welcome, everybody. Keep it working. You wanna hinge forward, you wanna high pull it up. You got that full minute, and then we're hitting that cardio and that body weight. Now remember, we can use the floor or we can use a piece of furniture like the couch or an ottoman so that you don't have to come all the way to the floor because we are gonna have up and down movements with when we get to those combos, okay? You still have 25 seconds left. You're still working on that hinge and that high pull. You're gonna get a break in a moment while I show you what we're gonna do in our next circuit. So hang in there, last 15 seconds right here. Last 10 seconds, keep working on that hinge and high pull it up. You're almost ready to get rid of those weights and you don't need to hold on to those weights for your entire next circuit. It is just body weight right here. Drop it down, we're gonna reset that clock. You're gonna watch me. Our cardio move is gonna be high knees for 30 seconds, okay? Now, we are gonna then drop it down to the floor and we're gonna work ankle reaches so you can reach for the opposite ankle. Now, if ankle reaches are too much, you can stick with shoulder taps and you can bring it on your knees if you need to. Now, like I said, if you wanna use that couch, you can come onto that couch, you can tap those heels, uh, the ankles rather, or you can do those shoulder taps. And then, when we combine the move for a minute, it's gonna be four knees, drop down and get two ankles or shoulder taps. So watch me, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. You wanna burp it down into that plank, tap those ankles, step or hop it back up, and go for four knees, okay? And you can do that next to the couch. One, two, three, four, step onto that couch, get shoulder taps or ankle taps, okay? So that is how you can do that combo from that couch and you won't have to come up and down on that floor. This is going to zap that energy. It's gonna be a strong one. Your body weight ones are gonna be hard because every combo we are going from the floor, from our feet to our floor and back up, okay? If it's too much, pick one of those moves or use the couch so you're not going all the way to the floor. Get ready for those high knees for 30 seconds. In four, three, two, and go. You're on that clock. Now remember your options for high knees. Nice and easy here or nice high march or right here, driving those knees up. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds for shoulder or ankle taps. I'm gonna be doing the ankle taps. You can do shoulder taps if the ankle reaches are too much, okay? Last two, and one. Step or hop back onto the floor, and right into reaching for the opposite shoulder or the opposite ankle. You can tap the knee. So you do shoulders, knees, or ankles here. If you're going for the ankles, you gotta lift those hips up as you reach for those ankles. Coming on your last 10 seconds. Good, get that last one in. Step or hop it up. One, two, three, four. Take it down. Reach for those shoulders, knees, or ankles. One on each side, back up. Good, so you wanna get about four knees in. If you wanna do more, that's fine too. Find what works for you. Step it back, or you can hop it back. Step it in, or you can hop it in. Figure out what works best for you. You can change it throughout. Good, make your way up, and you're into those high knees, 30 seconds. Just the high knees. Step number two. You're gonna feel that intensity come up, right? 
If you need to bring it down, or at any time, you can simply march it in place right here. Let the intensity come down whenever you need to. Up here if you can. Good, last two, and one. Good, down on the floor from that couch. Shoulder taps, knee taps, or ankle taps. Just that body weight from that plank position. Good, get that last one in. And putting it together. One, two, three, four. Take it down. Reach for each one of the ankles. And back up. So you're gonna have this burpee-like movement with all those combos in your body weight today. If you wanna simply hold a plank, for a couple seconds, come back up and do high knees any way you want, that's fine. You want to squat, tap it back, tap it back, come up and do four knees, that's fine too, okay? Down here if you can, getting in those taps, using that upper body movement if you can. Good, making your way back up, and just those knees, right here. Now remember, you can bring it down. You can simply march it in place. You can really drive those knees up to finish it out. Good, take it down. Plank position, either holding or moving. Shoulder taps, knee taps, or ankle taps. Only, then we put it together for one minute. Circuit two will be done. Get ready for that combo coming up. One, two, three, four. Take it down, either hold your plank or tap. Bring it up, step in your hopping. Two, three, four knees and back. Halfway there, guys. You're almost done with that first body weight circuit. Good, finish up that last one. Get some water and you're done. Circuit number two. Good. Let's all breathe. I'm gonna get some water too. Okay, that, you're gonna really feel, that intensity went up, guys. So let's bring it down a little bit, okay? Watch me. Next set of exercises. We're gonna let those weeks hang. We're gonna alternate into rear lunges. Okay, then we're gonna go for hammer curls. And then our combo move is gonna be a lunge, curl, and step it in. Okay, I want you to hold the lunge as you curl. You have a minute, so you don't have to rush through it and go crazy with lunging and curling at the same time. So we'll make it separate move. As we hold the lunge, you can simply tap it back, tap it back instead of a lunge, okay? Shoulders down and back. Get set, and go. Alternate. Those rear lunges. You've got three sets, just lunges, just hammer curls, and your combo 
of your lunge hold and the curl. So please step it back instead of plunging if it's too much. Good. Feet are going to be grounded for just the curls. No lunging, no leg work. All about just those hammer curls. Good, now get set to lunge. Hold it and curl it and bring it up. We're gonna do that curl from that lunge hold, making it even harder. If that's too much, just step it back and curl, or you can curl center and alternate a step back without a curl, okay? You got one minute here. Good. Just those lunges. Finish up your combo. And it's all about just those legs now. Step and lunge. Alternate that step back into that lunge. Or a simple step back without a lunge. Pulling yourself back in with that front leg. Good, finish your last lunge, hold it center, just those curls. Get ready to add that lunge, holding that lunge if you can. As you hold that lunge, that's where you're curling. And then once you complete that curl, you can step it back up. One full minute right here. Come on guys, I know it's not easy. I told you it wasn't gonna be easy today. I didn't plan for it to be easy. And if you got those heavy weights like me, it's not feeling easy right now. Especially after circuit two, where you brought that intensity up super high with those combos, with that full body weight work. Good, go right into your alternating lunges. No arms, just legs, stepping back and alternating, guys. Step back into that lunge, step back into that lunge, bringing it in every single time. Back to your standing position, guys. You got it. Coming on your last 10 seconds, and then just those hammer curls, focusing on those biceps. Good, step it in, ground your feet, and give me those hammer curls. Right here. Getting ready for that final combo. Move coming up. Good, with that last curl in, now we're gonna add that lunge and do that combo move. Holding that lunge if you can, just stepping back and curling, 
or you can step into that lunge and crawl when you're up here, okay? So you don't have to do it as you hold the lunge. So you decide, lots of different options that you can choose from. I'm working nice and slow on my strength, and I can work my speed when we do no weights in that, those body weight circuits. I'm not worried about speed here. I'm worried about building muscle and strength right here. So I want to go slow, and I want to keep it controlled in my weighted work. Good. That last one in. Those weights can come out of the way. Go get some water and get ready, because it's gonna get tough. All right, I'm gonna grab the folded mat to do some plank ups. Okay, you might wanna have that option too. I'm gonna show you, okay? First exercise is our jump squats. Now, of course, you can come all the way up. You can just go heels to toes, or you can just come up and down with the squat, no weights. Then we bring it down, okay? And we're going for plank up right and left, and then I want to left and right, okay? Alternate it. And then when we do that combo, it's going to be jump squats, heels to toes, just one time, right, left up, left, right up, and then step it or come back up and into that jump squat, okay? Now, same thing, if you want to use that mat, on that uh, couch, do your plank ups alternating, and then when you're up and down, you've got that couch that you're elevated from, gonna make it easier than coming all the way to that floor, okay? All right, ready to go? Ready to hop it up? In four, three, two, just the jump squats. Or those heels to toes. Go for it. Right here, up. 30 seconds. Now if you need to be on your knees when you're on that floor, you're gonna also need some cushion for your knees, or a rug, or a pillow, something that you can put your knees down underneath when you do those plank ups. Or again, do it from the couch elevated. It's gonna make it easier than going down to that floor. Good, get that last one in. Now we wanna bring it down, step it back, or hop it back on your knees if you need to, on your toes if you can. Alternate, right, left, down and up, and then left, right. Cause you're gonna alternate right, left, left, right, when you put it together in that combo. Good, let's combine it together. Stepping or hopping it up to your toes or that jump squat one time into that plank. Down and up right, down and up left. And then step or hop it in for your next one. And again, if you're doing it from the couch, same thing, your jump squat. Step it back, get your plank up right, get it left. Step or hop it back in, up on your toes or your jump squat, okay? Same thing, except you'll be elevated and it's gonna make it easier for you. What makes these super hard is there is no breaks. We're gonna go right into just jump squats after this super tough combo that you have right here. Once you come up to your feet, heels to toes, jump squats, whatever you can manage. You might just want to do squats, but move those arms, okay? I told you, non-stop. Hard work today, guys. It's gonna pay off. You don't have to be doing the jump squats. You need that break. You have to simply march in place. That's totally fine too, okay? You can power through it. I can be full jump squats. Go for it. Good, get that last one in. Come on down. You need to come to your knees right here, okay? Just make sure you've got cushion you can place underneath those knees. I have a rug, so I'm not on that hard surface. I'm okay. You wanna make it stronger? Just pop it up onto those toes. You can do any way you wanna do them.
Good, let's go for that combo. Step or hop it in. One jump squat or to those toes, or just come up in that squat. You want that right plank up, you want that left plank up, and then you're back up right here. Go. Step it back. You can come to your knees. Okay, find those options. If you're struggling, you got to find how you can move through it. You can just hold instead of doing the plank ups. Go ahead, make your way up. One more set. Just those jump squats. Heels to toes. We're right in it. This is that intensity that I'm telling you about. It's not going to come down. Even when you get to that strength, we're gonna allow it to come down a little bit because we're not doing those plyometric moves or that up and down from the floor to our feet. But we're still moving with our heavy weights. So we are gonna keep that intensity up. We're only gonna take it down a little bit. Get ready to bring it down. We're still right here. Good. Step it back. All right, your knees are on your toes. Right here. Alternate. So look, if you're struggling, right here with me. If you can't be on that floor, you should be doing it from your couch right now, even if you're simply just holding the plank. Okay, if you can stay strong, you're on your toes. Get ready, that combo, step or hop it in. Toes or jump. Down into that plank, on your knees if you need to. Down and up with that right. Down and up with that left. Make your way up to your feet. And you jump squat, keep going. Down into that plank. Give me that right plank up. Give me that left plank up. On the couch or on the floor. Come back up, give me that jump. Come to your toes or lift up from that squat. You got it guys, almost there. 30 seconds, you're still working. I'm just getting ready to show you your next moves. You're gonna have a break very, very soon, I promise you, okay? This is it, your last 15 seconds. Give me that combo move. With that plank up right, that plank up left, come to your feet, give me that jump squat if you can. Last three, guys. Two, you go get your break now. And I'm gonna show you your next two moves. Resetting that clock. All right. We're gonna get those legs out wide. Those toes turned out. Those weights are gonna be up right here, which means you're holding them here the entire time, guys. We're gonna go for wide squats. After those wide squats, we're gonna go for rotating arm presses. And then your combo is one of each, guys. So get the weights you think you can handle. And if you struggle with it, Go ahead and drop them and get lighter ones at any time. Or do it without the weights, okay? Get your legs wide, get your toes turned out, get your weights up in front of that shoulder. Just those wide squats, guys, in three, two, and go. So while you're doing those wide squats, we're holding the weights right here. That's gonna be a struggle in and of itself. Those arms are gonna get super tired. And then when we hit our next body weight circuit, they're already gonna be fatigued. Gonna make everything even harder as we move through this workout. Don't rush it, guys. Remember, this is not about speed on your strength. Let's go, rotate up. Now, if you must, you can go one at a time. But you're looking to rotate them both up. You can't come all the way up. Just give me a little double push right there without that rotation, okay? Good, one of each, one full minute, guys. Down, up, rotating press. Good, 
good. You guys keep going. I'm gonna actually change out. I'm going a little later. I'm gonna make sure I can get through three sets of these. Because right now it's already a struggle. And I had eight. I went down to five. You gotta listen to your body. If you know that your form's gonna start breaking, your position is gonna start breaking, you've gotta adjust for it. If you're not gonna be able to maintain it, you've gotta lower those weights. Be smart. Train smart. Good, right here, you're not loosening up those arms. You need a break, go ahead and take a break for a second. But I want that tension in that upper body the entire time. Which is what makes going with those heavier weights pretty impossible on this combo. You might have tried to start with some heavier weights just like I did. You might have had to get rid of them and go for the lighter ones. At this point, good. Hold here, rotate up, and back down. Let's get our combo in. Good, I'm literally pushing through each one, keeping my focus right here, guys. Thinking about my breath, thinking about my movement, my posture and my position. Moving to the pace that I know I can manage right now. No more, no less. Keeping our arms right here for our last wide squat. Just those squats. The sweat is dripping on my pants. I can see wet spots right where my elbows are touching my quads because my entire body is dripping right now. How are you guys feeling at home? Good, get that last one in. Right here, guys. Breathe. I feel like, guys, I am burning in my shoulders right here. Take a breath in between each one. Get ready. We're going for one of each, guys. I'm going to do some with you, and then I'm going to take my break. But I don't want you to think I'm completely abandoning you for a full minute. So I'm going to go here for half of that minute with you, and then I'm going to take my break because I have to get ready to show you your next two moves, guys, okay? But I need you to try to stay here for that entire minute, okay? You guys stay right there. Okay, you've got 30 seconds left starting right now. Don't stop, guys. You got this. Come on. I'm going to take that sweat and wipe it off a little. Getting ready for that next circuit, guys. But you're still in it, so do not stop. You hear me? 15 seconds. There you go. Five seconds. Come on. You should be getting that last one in right now. And put those weights down. Go get your water, guys. You need it, I know you do, just like I did. Take that break, it is well deserved. All right guys, watch me, because things are not gonna get easier, okay? We're going for those jumping jacks, watch, okay? 
So we hop in and we hop out. All right. Now you can also step it side to side. You can just do jack legs instead of squatting. You can squat it side to side. Okay, but if you squat it side to side, when we do the combo, you're gonna do right and left, okay? If you're doing a jumping jack squat with that hop, you only have to do one, okay? Then we're gonna bring it down and we're going for side lunges. Now you can be right here with the knee down. Okay, remember you'll need cushion for your knees, so you want to be on the mat, or you can be here. And then when we put it together, it's up, jumping jack squat, down, and into those side lunges, one on each side, okay? Jumping jack squat. Actually, when we come up from those side lunges, watch me, let's keep it wide, okay? Come up wide, and then your jumping jack squat's gonna be here. So from that wide position, that's where we're gonna push it back, okay? So get the legs wide when we do that combo, so your jumping jack squat can be up and down, okay? First thing you have to do is that jumping jack squat. And remember, you can also do your side lunges from your couch, and then you don't have to come all the way on the floor. Or you can simply hold the plank and not do side lunges at all during those 30 seconds. And then your combo would be hold your plank, come on up, jumping jack squat, okay? Get ready for those jumping jack squats in three, in two, and go, you're on that clock. So remember, you can do just regular jacks, okay? You can tap it side to side. You can step and squat it one side into the other, or those full, out and in jumping jack squats. Now remember, when we put that combo together, this is where you want to shoot back and into that plank position. When you're down in that squatted position, you're already low, which makes it easy for you right here to step or hop back. And now you're going to go into side lunges on your knees or on your toes. Rotate and reach for that ceiling. All right, guys, so remember, for our combo, come wide, up, down wide, push it back, and give you a side plank on each side. Okay, now if you're stepping it, you just step it wide, okay? And you can come in, and you can come in, if you're stepping, one at a time, and then into your side lunges, and you down if you need to. Okay, come wide, and again, if you're stepping, step it up, squat it, step it on the other side, squat it, and then step it back and give you that look, that side plank and that side plank. So you want to be wide. Hop it if you can. Push it back. Work those side lunges. And when you step or hop it in, it's a wide squatted position as you jump it up and into that jumping jack squat. Good, let's stay in those jumping jack squats and once you finish, you're right here. Okay, you can also be here. Squat, tap it in, squat, tap it in. You can be with those taps side to side. Whatever works. Regular jack legs. Okay, use the side. Big jumping jack squats right here. Good, hold it down. Step or hop it back, and alternate those side lunges. Come on, guys. We got one more circuit after this. We're gonna be finishing back on our feet with this time circuit. So you only have one more of these body weight ones. These are the most difficult today, okay? But you're almost there. Finish it, you got this, guys. Come on, let's put it together right here. Come wide, jump it into that jumping jack squat, reach into your side planks, or step it in, step it in, right? Okay, feet, step it in, squat, step it in, squat, and then take it back. Okay, if you're stepping, you're doing single down. If you're hopping, you only have to do one, because you get both feet coming in and out at the same time. And then you're back, and into that side plank.
Start finishing up your last one. Come on up. And one more set right here. Just those jumping jack squats. You can step it side to side. You can squat it side to side. Tap it side to side. Go for those plank jacks. I mean, just those regular jacks. You got it, guys. Hang in there. Come on, step it out, hop it out. Jumping jack squats, regular jacks, moving squats, tap it side to side. Get that last one in, come on down, side planks right now. Good, step or hop your back. If you need to be on your knees, right here. Alternate from one knee to the other. Right here if you can. Good, open up that chest with every side plank reach. Good, get those legs wide. Step it in or hop it in. Get low, shoot or step it back. Reach into that side plank on each side. You are almost done with your Strong and intense body weight work. Come on, the third and final circuit for this. One more strength circuit to finish it out, guys. Come it up. Five seconds left, guys. Finish up your last one. Make your way up. Get your water. Get ready to finish it up, guys. All right, we're going with one. Heavy weight that you can hold with both hands. And we're getting those legs all the way turned out without plie squat. We're going to lower it down enough into your plie squat. We're going to rise it up and do just tricep extensions. Okay, and then in our combo move, we're gonna have that frontal raise to transition from both moves. So our plie squat with the weight down here, up into our tricep extension, and back down, okay? Don't bend to the weights down. Don't bend your elbows to the weights all the way up and over that head. Just your plie squats to start in three, two, and go. Let's do it, legs out wide. So it's turned out. Upper body remains tall. Feel like you want to stretch those inner thighs as you come down. Squeeze through those glutes and inner thighs as you come up. And push that core away from your body with every extension through those legs. Good. You're going to bring your intensity down a little bit here so that we can come right into our stretch at the end. Good. Get your last plie squat in. You've got to rise up to get that weight overhead. Squeeze those elbows in towards each other and bend and extend behind that head for those tricep extensions. Hitting the back of those arms right here. Good, get that last one in, lower the weight down. Once it's down, plie squat. Lift you back, super engage that core as you move that weight from down to over that head. And then from over that head back down, engaging that center as you move through that frontal raise all the way up and all the way down. Good, get that last one in, bring it down, and just that plie squat right here.
Knees going out to the side, towards those toes, right over those toes. Good, bring it up, lift it up, just those triceps extensions. Good. Don't, not think about the lower body. Squeeze the touch. Squeeze the quad super tight in those inner thighs. Engage those legs as you move through that upper body. Good. Start to move that weight down. And let's get that second minute of combos in. Right here. Super strong as you bring that weight up over that head and down below to its starting position. Squeeze those elbows in. squats right here. Just plie squats. Feel that nice stretch. Squeeze those inner thighs as you come up. Good. That last one in. Rise up. Bend and extend for those tricep extensions. One more combo minute left to go, and you are done. Hang in there, guys. Come on, I'm still here with you, too. I'm not going anywhere, so you stay here with me. Let's finish it together, guys. Good, last one. That's it, all you have is one minute left, right here. One minute. One minute. You already did so many minutes. What is less than one more right now to finish? Take those hands on those thighs. Hinge forward through that flat back and hold. Roll it up halfway and stretch that spine. Take that flat back down, roll it all the way up, allowing that head to come up last. Once you come up, roll those shoulders back. Let's take that left foot forward, right foot back. Press that heel to the ground as you lengthen out the back of that leg. Take the right arm across that chest and press it in. Boy, am I happy this is the end of my day. I'm a sweaty mess right now. How are you guys doing over there? Did you sweat? You better have sweat. Bring it up and back. Extend the line through that arm, grab that wrist and take a little pull to the side. Really stretch through that right side right here. 
and then rising up, lower down, and push left behind the back, opening up that chest, squeezing and retracting those shoulder blades back, and lengthening out through those arms. Good, and release, stepping in a little to the ball of the foot, push those hips forward, squeezing that glute behind you, stretch through that hip flexor, and hold. Now you can keep it here, stretching out your flexor, or if you can grab it from there, still stretching out your flexor, but also getting that quad turn of the leg. And release from that heel to the front, inch forward and reach for those toes. Lengthen out through the back of that leg. Slide it up, press it up, we're gonna take that right foot forward, that left foot back, press and lengthen that heel to the ground. Great long leg and take that left arm across that chest. Press it in. Take that elbow up and back. Reach back. Lengthen and extend. Grab that wrist and take a little fold to the side. Rise it up and release into left behind the back. Open up that chest, squeeze and retract those shoulder blades back. And release, step it in onto the ball of the foot. Push those hips forward, squeeze that glute behind you. Stretch that hip flexor right here. And then continue to either stretch that hip flexor or grab that foot behind you to not only stretch the hip flexor but also the quad from part of that leg. I release that foot from the heel to the front, slide down to reach for those toes, lengthen out through the back of those, those legs right here. Slide it up, press it up, let's take two deep breaths in guys. Exhale out and down, one more time in. And you guys are all done. Fantastic work, I know that it is difficult, but once again, you wanna either use that couch or Use just the up and down movement. Hold a plank. You don't even have to move, do the moving plank work, but getting used to coming up and down with using the couch or doing it from the floor. This way you get a hands on the coming up and down and bring that intensity up, okay? If you can't come to that floor, then with those burpee moves, you're just gonna squat, tap back, tap back. Remember, that's all you need to do as well and eliminate that body weight work with those combos, okay? This is was a tough workout, especially because of the coming up and down from the floor and up. Awesome job, proud of you for getting through it. You did fantastic. Once again, if you wanna do this workout again, save it, share it, or come back to this page, click on videos and it will be there for you. I will eventually upload it to my YouTube channel. Everything is up to date um, up until uh, Friday of last week, okay? So I'll start to roll, uh, get these classes on YouTube this week or next week, but everything right now is up to date and on YouTube, so you can get all of my workouts, live workouts there, and any workouts that I have done are on that YouTube channel, Stay Fit With Joy, okay? Awesome work today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow we'll be kickboxing on my Stay Fit With Joy page to finish out our week uh, with that, and then also don't forget that I do the live With Joy workouts on the Mid Island Y JCC Community Center Facebook page as well, okay? So you can look at my virtual schedule and you can click right on uh, that page there that takes you exactly where you wanna be for all of those live workouts. Great job, thank you again for joining me tonight. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, bye-bye.